April Annihilation was uh, pretty sick, actually. Has this event happened before? Is this the first time April Annihilation has happened? Dude, the bracket was crazy. So if you looked at this bracket in Winter Side Top 8, you would think that I'm fucking with you, that this is like a made-up bracket or something. Because, like, Ludd and K-Brad in Top 8 winners, all right. Terrence and El Chicote, cool. And then you look at the bottom, and you're like, wait a minute. In Top 8 losers is Problem X versus Punk? what like punks won a premiere this year he got second place in the next premiere he's in losers against the evo champion like what the fuck on the other side is ricky versus knuckle do like knuckle do and ricky are down there what like what's happening in this this top eight of this bracket right punk was only playing colleen this tournament until he was down 2-0 to problem x and then he switched to karen one two straight and then lost the last game but he was playing only colleen and then uh knuckle do lost early to i don't remember who it was and I heard Cool Kid lost in pools, right? He didn't even make it out of his pool. It's pretty crazy. Sarah Blast was one game away from making top eight winners. Had to be K-Brad. And uh, yeah, this tournament was dope. Problem X made a really, really crazy loser's bracket run. The sickest thing that Problem X did was definitely the combo where uh, he had the blast on them. And then he did come or he did the EX orb and then he did command throw. Popped them off the EX orb and then did the combo after it. That shit was sick. I've, I've seen that before. But it was so gangster because as soon as he got the command throw, I knew it was going to happen. I was like, oh my god, that shit was tight. Yes, he lost to an Ed player. That's right. Dude lost to an Ed player. So yeah, this tournament was really fun to watch. If you missed the top eight, it was super, super fun to watch. Super like crazy, great matches. There's a bunch of Chun-Li players in top eight. Three Chun-Li players in top eight. Shit was looking like a third strike tournament. I was like, what the hell? Problem X's loser's bracket run was incredibly good. It was a great tournament. Super, super awesome to watch. I recommend it super highly if you guys missed april annihilation the vods are on biff techie's channel i went and watched it so we were watching it in the living room here because we had people uh we had people over and we were just chilling watching in the living room and the commentary was super relaxed and funny yeah we watched the michigan masters you know the nice thing is we had people over and we just like on the tv we just put on a bunch of tournaments we watched the damage germany tournament for tekken then we were watching April Annihilation, Dragon Ball, and then Chris G like went up in the finals. So we switched over to the Street Fighter tournament. Then we were watching Eunice at the end, right? So we got to watch all of it, which was pretty nice to just be able to sit back and fucking do that. Yeah, it's like the Michigan event had a bunch of Canadians, right? For like all the games that they had there. I mean, it's primarily an anime event. Yeah, MK comes out this month. And it comes out in like uh, eight days, right? So because of that, I'll be streaming MK super heavy. You guys can find me here on the 23rd. I'll be chilling. I'll be enjoying it. Like, you know, you guys don't have to worry about that. That's where I'll be for sure. I did see Ryan Hart versus Rip. Ryan Hart beat the shit out of him. He was in great, great form. This guy, Rip, was Dave Chappelle in Africa for a month, right? He was in South Africa, Dave Chappelle it up. And I was like, all right, cool. Let's see how it is. And I watched him play in the tournament. And I was like, he's a little sloppy. But, you know, Rip still looks pretty good. I saw Ryan. I was like, mm, he looks a little stiff. But he looks like he's fine. We'll see how it goes, right? I watched that match. I was like, Jesus Christ. Ryan, you can tell that he trained specifically for Rip. To systematically destroy Rip. He was like, all right, I'm going to stand at this range. I'm going to wait right here. Play patient. Rip's going to stick out, standing four, trying to find a counter hit. Boom, dash electric. I was like, Jesus Christ. Then he knocked him down, and he ran a fucking train. He just boom, 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 boom. Oh, you want to swing here? Power crush. And then Rip was like, maybe I shouldn't swing there. And he's like, oh, I'm negative. I don't give a fuck. Hell sweep. And it's like, oh, my God, he's crazy. I thought that the set would be close at first. I think it was like 2-2 at one point or something, or... Like, I remember being a little close, 4-2 or something. I was like, all right, we got, you know, we got a little bit of a set here. And then he got beat up. I didn't think it was that interesting of a set because, you know, Ryan was just, he was just playing. And Rip was just getting beat up. He, there's, he was out of it. And I was like, Ryan has got this. He's cleaning up. He was playing the best that I've seen him in a while. I was like, damn, he's good. I think I was pretty sure that the match was going to be close and that Rip would win. And then everybody was telling me, yeah, I talked to Rip. And he's like, said he hasn't played since he's been in South Africa, he's been doing this. I was like, oh, man. If they both trained for it super hard, I don't know what would happen. But you're telling me Ryan's been training and Rip's not training? He's definitely going to beat him. Like, if your mind wasn't set to that, Ryan Hart was going to show up and beat you down. He is a beast. He was very, very prepared. Not just like, oh, like, he looks like he's been playing some Tekken. It was like he was like, I know exactly what, what Rip's going to do. In this moment, he likes to do this, this, and this. So I'm going to be I'm gonna be ready if he goes for this string, I'm going to duck that. If he does this, I'm going to whiff punish that. It was like, you can tell that Ryan specifically prepared a game plan for Rip. 
and he did an excellent job. He's a world-class player preparing for somebody, right? Like, it's not that surprising. 